fashion, fun, felines. Join spa living and style expert Candy Holiday as she trips through her days while trying to flourish, look fab and have a blast, even when life gets in her way. Let's make every day feel like a holiday with Candy. Candy, what are you doing? To, um, Y'all, we are at 111 Cryo, and it is a cryotherapy um, spa in Harvey Nichols in Knightsbridge, London. So you can see here it says London. And these are the same people that created the 111 skin that we um, found at Space NK, which I'm kind of obsessed with at the moment. So the <laughs> range was invented by astronauts. Yes, yeah, so uh, Dr. Yanis, which is Dr. Yanis Alexandridis, is our, um, is our plastic surgeon at Harley Street. He's an active surgeon in both the US and, the, and, and Europe. Mm -hmm. um, he, um, yeah, he invented these, but they're made in, um, in a place in Bulgaria where they, um, they create nutrition plans for astronauts and people traveling to space. Mm -hmm. And what they did, they specialized in treating astronauts' skin because when they go into space, they come under enormous pressure and environmental damage, and in zero gravity environments, you age, uh, apparently you age a lot faster, so they um, they invented creams and, and stuff to put on their skin and their nutritional plants to prevent that environmental damage on their skin, so yeah, uh, Dr. Yanis Alexandridis oh. works with them, and that's, that's their concept, that's why it says yeah. it's made by Dr. Alexandridis plus space scientists to do it, but that's, it's all about Protecting your skin from environmental yeah, damage. That's and, it's, it's and exactly yeah, that's what it told me. It's, so it's very, very scientific. It's very um, really, yeah. um, and you're very based. innovative, incredibly yeah. innovative. So the products we use is is the uh, face and body serum, which you use after. Well, we have here to use after the cryotherapy, but you can use them any time. We always recommend people use them twice a day, morning and e and evening. Like I was saying, they protect against like environmental damage, and um, they they're made for people who are like live quite fast paced lives and not got time to sort of sit and pamper themselves you just put them on and go basically they're, they're fast acting like that um, they they mimic cryotherapy but they don't use cold so it's not there's nothing to do with a cold here oh, okay. when you when you're in a cryotherapy like I was saying before it, it promotes regeneration of the skin so it encourages more collagen production and, and it, it, it stimulates your cells and um, gets rid of dead cells creates new ones so these basically do the same thing by um the inside them is the active ingredient which um, gets your cells to create more ATP, which is your cell's energy source. Um, so um, when you pull it on, it really energizes the cells and causes them to tighten up. Wow. And tones, basically. So pretty immediate effect. Yeah, yeah. So wow. Them, yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay. Away. But we all use them here. We all them. I'm here with Nick, who is the manager of the spot and yeah. also a trainer. And um, something that he told me is really cool, it's really different about in the States, when you were in this chamber, just before I opened the door, because I know some of y'all are like me, claustrophobic, <laughs> you to mention, um, he actually is in here with you and shows you stretches and things to do so you're not alone and you keep your blood moving. It really um, enhances the therapy to do that as opposed to just standing still. So he's going to open the door and I'm going to show you inside this chamber, which is, what is the temperature in here? We're currently at minus 90. Ready? Okay, let's go. Woo! So oh my gosh. It's just moisture from the outside area. Whoa. Freezing. So that's why it gets misty. Oh man. It's like the fog down in the new forest. Wow. Okay. Whoa. That's it. That feels good. That's colder than a refrigerator for sure. Yeah, yeah. But it, it feels refreshing. It is unbelievably refreshing. That's the words most people use to describe yeah, it. Yeah. It, it's so light. I mean, it's not like I thought it would be at all. Not it's so that. refreshing. Lots of people do it as like a hangover sort of cure. Yeah. It perks you up and it's really refreshing. Nick, um, so you know, before I, I was sort of like a cryotherapy newbie and yep. I didn't really know the benefits. So can you tell everybody like what are... The, some of the really good benefits, health and beauty. Of yeah, cryo. cool. So the four main ones we advertise here at One 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 Cryo. Uh, first is pain relief. Um, so if you suffer from any sort of chronic conditions where you're in in constant pain, uh, it helps reduce the amount of pain you feel. And they say it's not a cure for those things, but it helps um, manage the pain better and improve your quality of life. Invented for arthritis and other rheumatic diseases originally, so it reduced the amount of chronic pain uh, these people felt and increased your mobility. It does that by the release of endorphins, which um, is a natural painkiller because it's a morphine-like hormone, but it also makes you feel really good as well uh, and it really lifts your mood. Uh, the next one we have is beauty enhancement. It's really good for your skin because it helps your uh, helps oxygenate your skin, gets your blood pumping around your body, um, and encourages um, the production of more collagen. 
and it's really regenerative for the skin, so it encourages um, getting rid of dead skin cells and replacing them with new skin cells. Uh, so it's really good for conditions like eczema and psoriasis, can really alleviate the symptoms okay. of those. Um, number three is weight management, so it boosts your metabolism, so your body's working harder, um, you burn more calories over the next 24 to 48 hours after using the chamber, so these calories aren't burnt in the chamber, they're burnt after you've come out because your body's now working harder. You're using a higher percentage of your muscle mass, which equates to a higher energy expenditure, and you'll burn somewhere between 5 to 800 calories over the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, depending on who you are and your metabolism and how much muscle mass you have. The more muscle you have, the more calories that will, will be burned. Oh, wow. um, and then the last one, which is probably the most famous uh, reason at the moment people use this, is uh, sports conditioning or sports recovery. Um, lots of top athletes uh, all over the world, um, in the States and in Europe, use cryotherapy. People like uh, Michael Phelps, Mo Farah, that sort of thing, and NBA and American football players use it. Um, it helps by reducing the amount of muscle soreness you feel after training. So after you've trained, you don't feel as sore and you can train harder and for longer. Uh, the Welsh rugby team said that after using cryotherapy all week, they could fit in an extra day's training per, per week. Oh. So, so that's the sort of recovery. Wow. Uh, did they about. win more matches then? Um, <laughs> they did. They, that was at a time wow. when they were doing it before the other European rugby teams. Yeah. And they, in the Six Nations competition, they beat, every, they beat everyone. Oh, they my gosh. Yeah. So wow, now, now, they so cool. yeah, now they all do it. Now they all do it. Wow, yeah. yeah. I'll copy in already. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, so that's thanks. It. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. Uh, so, Nick, uh, what's the difference between um, the British cryotherapy and the American cryotherapy? Um, so, yeah, there's two types of cryotherapy on the market at the moment. So there's nitrogen-based chambers and there's uh, electric electrical engineered chambers. Uh, what you'll find in the U.S. most of the time it are nitrogen-based chambers, although these ones are, are, getting, are getting bigger as well in the US. Mainly in Europe are the electric, electric ones. Over in the UK, there's not many cryotherapy places. We're one of the only ones, and we use the electrically engineered ones. Uh, the main difference is our, the, our chambers are a room, um, so you're, you're, you get the true whole body experience, so e right. your heads and your shoulders and your neck are in the chamber, and you've got the, your cold air everywhere, whereas in the nitrogen-based chambers, you're essentially in a, a cylinder that comes up to here, yeah. um, so your, your neck and your head are outside the chamber. Also, nitrogen is quite heavy gas, so when they do pump it in, it sinks to the bottom, and there's mm -hmm. research that suggests it's not really doing much above your waist. Mm -hmm. A lot of the cold receptors, the thermoreceptors in your skin, which I found out read today, um, are actually in your chest and head area. So they're the receptors that are gonna send messages to your brain saying it's really cold, and then your brain will respond with the hormonal response we're gonna take advantage of. But in the, in the, in the nitrogen chambers where your head's not involved, um, there, there's research that suggests that it's not, it's not doing as much as what, what would happen in here. Okay. Now, the ones that use nitrogen are colder, um, however, that's only because liquid nitrogen is at a temperature that you can't change. Um, you don't actually need it to be that cold to send your body into shock, which is what we're, what we're doing here. Okay, excellent. Well, for me, the American one will be out because <laughs> I get claustrophobic. I, could, I know I can't be in this, but in this, I could totally do this. So. <laughs>
and wow. And I don't know um, if you saw, uh, Kevin had, I had to come out after the first minute. I was feeling a little bit panicky. It, it felt sort of like I was in a refrigerator at first. But then Nick told me about how to breathe and calm down, and then I was fine. I was able to make the last few minutes without a break, and I'm so proud of myself because, I mean, I'm claustrophobic, and so being in there, I was really worried. Um, you know, I mean, the, you know, just you're closed in. Um, but doing the exercises with Nick definitely made it more fun. I know I don't think I would be able to do the other cryotherapy chambers with the nitrogen. Like when you're locked in, or not, you're not locked in, but you're submersed like in a tube with your head sticking out. I, I would not like that, I don't think at all, <laughs> especially being claustrophobic. But I feel very euphoric at the moment. Like, just like I said, like, I just feel like I've had like about a bazillion cups of espresso. Like, I'm just really, like, as you can tell, it's hard for me to hold the camera steady. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm, it's probably shaking so much, so I'm really sorry if it's shaking. Um, but so, and my skin is like a little bit, has a little more color to it. That's kind of cool. Like the cryo tanning booth, that could be like a whole new thing, cryotherapy tanning booth. Um, and, and let's see what else. <laughs> I really, I have literal brain freeze. I can't think. Um, so if I can think of anything else, I'll tell you later. Um, but I'll check in with you later today. So now I'm going to go eat and have some water. No alcohol, no coffee apparently, which is a real bummer because I really um, want to have a hot drink at this moment after being in a cold chamber. Maybe I'll just have like a hot water with lemon or something. Um, so anyway, so, uh, so that's my cryotherapy experience at, at 111 Cryo at Harvey Nichols, London. Uh, and um, so I'll, ch I'll check in with y'all later today and let you know how I'm, um, how I'm feeling. Apparently I'm gonna, um, he said I'm gonna really sleep like a baby, like just super deep sleep tonight. So I'll feel kind of euphoric for the rest of the day. And then when I sleep, I'm gonna have a really good deep sleep, which is really awesome because we have the big Lush event tomorrow, yay. <laughs> okay, see y'all later, bye. So let me know if y'all try cryotherapy. I'd love to know your experiences. And if you want to learn more about 111 Cryo or 111 Skin, I'll have links to all the products and the information we talked about on Life's a Holiday. That's H-O-L-L-A-D-A-Y dot com. If you'd like to know about the fashionable side of freezing, <laughs> check out our upcoming Style Bites episode where I'm going to talk about everything that I wore during my treatment. Tune in next week for a sneak peek at our upcoming season, Transformation Nation. See you then. Bye. Don't forget, you can shop the show and get the 411 on this episode at lifesaholiday.com. That's H O L L A D A Y.com. Meet Candy on Candy Holiday YouTube channel for more adventures. See you next holiday.